1994, Chuck couldn't play in an All-American game. Told him he couldn't play. 20-some years later, now he's got his own name on the front of the building. Wow. You know, you talk about full circle. That's your I ain't never won a championship. And everybody asks me how I feel about never winning the championship. That's not something that God wanted for my life. All the things that, that he's done for me in my life, I thank him for that. I never hold my head down or anything like that for not winning the championship. I know who I am as a basketball player. I know who I am more so as a man. Like this, make you not give a damn about it because I got a championship team right here. Yes. Ain't nothing fake about this whole thing, man. No, when this number ring, you know what I mean? When this number ring and I see y'all name, it's gonna be answered. Man, y'all call me and talk about anything you want to, man. We here. This is gonna be more authentic than any, any, any All-American game that you've ever seen in your life, man. It's real, man.
Man, I'm glad y'all here, man. You know what I mean? Anything y'all need right here, all the advice in the world is a million dollars worth of game. In basketball, everybody got talent in this game. Everybody, man. You know what I mean? But it's right here. This will separate the men from the boys. Right here. You know what I mean? And after a while, you know, with all the athletic ability, man, it's right here. That's what basketball is. Everybody got talent. You know what I mean? When I first came into the league, KJ bust my ass. I was faster than him, jump higher. He had the John Stockton mentality, Kevin Johnson mentality. He could outthink me on the basketball court. You gotta know how to think the game, man. You gotta learn how to play the game the right way. And it is the right way. And, it, and I didn't know that in the beginning. You know what I mean? I was just playing off pure, raw talent until, you know, Larry Brown came into my life and taught me how to really play. And then as the time went on, you know what I mean, it slowed down. When I had somebody like BD on me, I knew when we played them, my t <laughs> I knew I knew when we played them. And I used to irritate the hell out of him because he was, he was younger, but I knew if we was to have any success in playing the Hornets, I got to get BD in foul trouble. <laughs> and I knew how to do that. You know what I mean? I knew how to flop. You know what I mean? I knew he was so much bigger than me. Let me run at him full speed. As soon as I get a little bit of body contact, I act like he killed me. <laughs> I got one on him. Now, he thinking about the second one because he, 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 know, how, he know the pattern. On ball defense. And I think I was good at it, but... And this is the God knows truth. I think I was good at it or could have been good at it, but I had so many victims with doing that crossover shit <laughs> that I was scared that somebody was gonna do it to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, jokes on you, Jack. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't wanna be the one on the other end. Yeah, so I wouldn't press up on people or try to beat people to the spot. You know how to press up on me, get up on them, smack. Smack the floor and get all up on me and try to beat me to the spot. Okay, you gonna try to beat me to the spot? Okay, well look, I'm going left. Whoa! And then you way over there, so goddamn way. way out of the goddamn screen. That was it. Like I, I didn't, I didn't play no game. Hand the camera. Yeah. Hey, look, look, man, I'm over here, man. Ain't no money yet. Real shit. Ain't no money yet. Y'all got a ways to go. You know what I mean? I mean, we talking about. We talking about the dream, yeah. you know what I mean? It's 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 process. I mean, it's, it's a process to get to the NBA. It's so, right there, though. Yeah, it's right, it's right there. Oh, it's, it's, it's in arms right reach, yeah. definitely. But it's some shit you got to do right now. You know what I mean? It's still classes. You know what I mean? It's still eligibility. It's still things you got to do on the basketball court. Yeah. It's somebody out there that wants your spot. In a different country. Man, so in a day, yeah. <laughs> in a whole nother country. You know, they talking about Dame now. Like, they weren't talking about Dame like that until the, the other day. They weren't on Dame like they supposed to be. But Dame been Dame. Been doing it. You know what I mean? And, and bad as he is, that tell you how hard it is to be a name in that league. Because as bad as he is, he go under the radar for that long. You know what I mean? But Dame always been doing what he doing. But he out in Portland. These other household names you're hearing about all these superstar guys, but you got to do like Dame over there in the shadows. Like, look, I'm here. All I'm doing is waiting on my opportunity. There's a dude that ain't fortunate like y'all, and he's sitting back like, all right. He probably pissed off at my people. Oh, you ain't invite me? Okay, and take that personal. And every time he face one of y'all that got a chance to be in the game, he at your ass. Yeah, it ain't happening yet. It's gonna happen, you know what I mean? I believe in all y'all. I believe in all y'all, but it's steps to it, man. It's um, it's levels to it. Stay humble, understand that it's a process. You gotta work, you know what I mean? And, and you're supposed to feel like that. Every time you step on the basketball court, I always was like that. No, it ain't cocky. No, it ain't arrogance. No, it ain't being conceited. But every time I'm on this dance floor, I'm the baddest out here. I got to feel that way. I'm on the court with Michael Jordan, but God gave me talent just like he gave Mike. You know what I mean? But I'm out here. You know what I mean? And I'm out here with the talent that he gave me. Why do I think God blessed somebody with a better talent than he gave me? I think he gave it to me. So after this game over, you're going to know who number 23 is because it's Mike. It's all zeros on the clock. You're going to know who number three is. Mm -hmm.
But every time you out there, you got a problem if you don't feel like you the baddest dude out there, man. Straight up. Might as well sit down and watch. Or go over there and grab some pom-poms. Chill. <laughs> do anybody know the difference between loving the game and what the game can do for you? Do anybody know the difference? Because loving the game will get you that ring. Loving the game will take care of you after basketball. Loving what the game can do for you, you won't last long at all. You probably won't even make it because you're cheating the game. You're going to come across a lot of people in college that, that's interested in the game. But how you separate yourself is by loving it. We're playing because you're tall. It's <laughs> 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 like a basketball player. Right. <laughs> that's real. Yeah. The easiest thing in the world to be is you. You know, why not you? Everybody else taking up. I am hip-hop. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what I grew up off. If I like country music, then... I would have probably been doing what the country dudes do. With a brooch on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was doing. I, all I was doing was dressing like, like basically dressing like the dudes that I grew up with. That's it. I was just dressing the same way. You know what I mean? And it was just that I could afford the stuff that I couldn't afford back then. I was eight years old. I was a football player. I could not stand basketball. I thought basketball was soft. Now, this many years later, and with every bone that I had in my body broke, and over 100 stitches in my face, obviously, I know basketball is not soft. You know what I mean? But back then, I was eight years old. My mom was like, you going to basketball practice today? Man, I cried, I kicked. You know what I mean? My coach, they all, everybody, my uncles, everybody had to get me out of the um, crib because I didn't want to play basketball. Got me to the gym. I seen dudes on my football team. I remember coming home after practice that day and just thanking my mom, hugging her and kissing her, thank you. You know what I mean? I love basketball. You know what I mean? And from that day on, once I knew that that's what I wanted to do, that was it. That's when that's when the journey began. So I asked, I said, Mom, can I make it to the NBA? And she was like, you can do whatever you want to do in life. And the love that I had for my mom, I actually believed it. You know how you, your mom would tell you anything. God damn it, you're going to be the next president, you know what I mean, of the United States. And you're like, yeah, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But I actually believed it, you know what I mean? So when I was on the corner and, and you know, I was like 13 years old, and, you know, the dudes that I was hanging around was snorting cocaine, smoking weed, drinking liquor, you know what I mean? Here, Chuck, hit this, hit this. Nah, dog, I'm going to the NBA. I sit there and had to take all the jokes. You know, nobody from Newport News make it to the NBA, motherfucker. Are you, are you serious, man? You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I'm gonna do it. You know, I ain't laughing at him now, but this many years later, and a Hall of Fame later, I, I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing my ass off, though. <laughs> I was recruited by, in both sports by everybody in the country. You know what I mean? All division, division three, division two, division one. Every every school in the country. And when I got in that situation, when I got out, no one was cool. Everything was off the table. My mom went to Georgetown and begged for my life. You know, basically told coach um, if if you know he didn't take me, that she thought I was gonna die, or I was gonna spend the rest of my life in prison. And Today, he would tell you that he did it um, because she came up there, you know what I mean? As if my talent ain't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> like, he just did my mom a favor, that's why he took me, you know what I'm saying? But it was a done deal. And from that point on, you know what I mean? I had to deal with, like, playing in Villanova, and I had to see the signs where um, Allen Iverson, the next MJ, and then I had it crossed out and had OJ under it. You know what I mean? I had the guys with the orange suits with the chains, and you know what I mean? Every time I went to the free throw, jailbird, jail. And I'm like 18, 19 years old. You know what I mean? It, it was never easy, especially at that point. You know what I mean? But then, you know, what the people were doing to me in the stands and all that, yeah. other point guard on other teams, they had a problem with it because Obviously, I had to take it out on them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you never get to be comfortable. LeBron still ain't comfortable right now. All the success he had throughout his career and the success that he's still having, he's still not comfortable. He's still not satisfied. Probably when he's done, 
as great as he is, I'm thinking he still going to put the pressure on himself mentally and still saying I could have did more. That if I would apply myself more in different areas, if I would have lift weights, you know what I mean? I went through a whole career and never lift weights. 165 pounds all the way through my whole career. Now I think about shit, damn, what about the lift weights? But it's too late. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy regretting nothing. When it's all over, don't be the guy saying, damn, I should have did it like this. Or damn, I should have did it like that. And that's why these dudes right here, with all the mistakes, with all the mistakes that we done made, we get to give this to y'all. Free game. But I love y'all dudes for coming, man. You know what I mean? It's my game, but I can't have no game without you bad more authentic than any, any, any All-American game, any All-American all classic that you've ever seen in your life, man. It's real, man. Steve Jackson, Byron Davis, D. Miles, Will. Come on, man. It's real around here, man. Smush, it's real, man. And I love y'all dudes for doing this for me, man. Straight up, man. I love y'all dudes for doing this, man. And I'm just happy as a mother that I get a chance to give back because dudes help me on the way, too. Whether it's my family, whether it's my coaches, AAU, was my coaches, and rec league, whatever. They gave me something to help me get here, man. And it feel good as a motherfucker to be standing here with y'all doing some shit like this. This is some bucket list shit, man. And I appreciate y'all. We're going to make Allen Iverson game the biggest game ever. And the kids to come behind y'all are going to even be more excited. We're going to make it better and better and better all from y'all. So thank y'all for having me. I, I really appreciate it, and it's a blessing to be here with y'all. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir, man. Oh, Y'all decided to come here and support the big homie and, and support us. And you know, like like Stack say, anything y'all need, advice, whatever, parents, anything, man. Tap in. You know what I mean? Tap in. We got big love for y'all. I'm gonna be. I'm trying to come to all y'all games this year because I ain't got shit to do in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Carolina. You know what I mean? Dude. So, Dude. Make sure y'all hit me. Get y'all, get, you know, give us y'all schedule, man. Just make sure we stay updated in y'all lives because we really f with y'all and it's genuine love. And we want to see y'all succeed each and every step of the way. So, Take I'm a fan. Y'all earned a fan in me, bro, and I appreciate all y'all for having me. Will. And fall in love with the details, man. I learned a lot over this week. Got a lot of jewels. When y'all get back home, make sure y'all carry that with y'all every single day. Time management is everything, man. It's 24 hours a day, eight of them you sleep. You got 16 more left. Y'all take advantage of this shit, man. College is next. It's only a few more years. Y'all right there. Take advantage of it. Every second, nutrition, everything, all the way around the board. All that shit matter, man. It adds to your value. Y'all keep up that great work, man. And I love being amongst you guys, man. Learned a lot from you guys. Love, man. I love y'all dudes, man. And we watching, Jack. You know what I mean? Every time you call this phone, don't think it's going to be peaches and cream, man. I told y'all last night, man, constructive criticism. When I see some bullshit, I'ma tell you. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, when you do that good shit, I'ma I'm brag on your ass. I'ma call you and talk You know what I mean? But when I see slippage, I'ma let you know, man. You know what I mean? Because that's what the big homie's supposed to do, man. I love y'all dudes, man. Get yours. Straight up. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.